the heroes of Chernobyl. Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we travel to 1986, to the heart of one of the worst nuclear disasters in history. Chernobyl, Ukraine, former Soviet Union. Amidst this tragedy, three men performed an act of heroism that saved millions. This is the story of Alexei Anonenko, Valery Bespalov, and Boris Baranov, the diver heroes of Chernobyl. On April 26, 1986, reactor number four of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, in what is now Ukraine, exploded, releasing a deadly cloud of radiation that spread across Europe. The explosion occurred during a poorly executed safety test. The reactor operators attempted to simulate a power outage to see if the turbines could generate enough electricity to keep the cooling pumps running until the emergency generators could be activated. However, a combination of human errors, design flaws in the reactor, and the disabling of crucial safety systems caused an uncontrolled reaction in the reactor core, culminating in a catastrophic explosion. The immediate consequences were devastating. Two workers died the night of the explosion, while 28 firefighters and plant employees died in the following weeks due to acute radiation exposure. It is estimated that more than 600,000 people, known as liquidators, took part in the cleanup of the disaster, facing extremely dangerous levels of radiation. In the long term, thousands of people are estimated to have died or suffered severe illnesses as a result of the radiation. The radioactive cloud released contaminated vast areas of Europe, particularly in Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia forcing the evacuation of over 300,000 people and leaving large areas uninhabitable to this day. But what happened immediately after the explosion? After the explosion, it was discovered that a subterranean pool filled with water was located beneath the reactor. If the molten reactor core had touched that water, it would have caused a steam explosion of catastrophic magnitude releasing even more radiation and spreading it across much of Europe. To prevent this second explosion, it was necessary to drain the pool. But there was a problem. The valves to release the water were in a flooded and highly radioactive tunnel. This is where Alexei Anonenko, Valery Bespalov, and Boris Baranov come into play. Alexei Anonenko, 35 years old, was a chief engineer at the Chernobyl plant, known for his calm under pressure and extensive knowledge of the reactor's design. Valery Bespalov, 28 years old, was a young engineer at the same plant, whose courage and determination led him to volunteer for the mission, despite knowing the risks. Boris Baranov, 36 years old, was a shift supervisor responsible for the safety of the plant systems. He knew that his experience would be crucial for the mission's success. Wearing rudimentary diving suits and carrying barely functional flashlights, these three men descended into the flooded tunnel. They knew the radiation in the water was so high that they likely wouldn't survive long after completing the mission. As they advanced through the dark tunnel, the radioactive water reached their chests. Guided only by their knowledge and a near-superhuman survival instinct, they managed to locate and open the valves. The water began to drain, and with it, they prevented an explosion that would have caused incalculable devastation. Incredibly, despite massive exposure to radiation and general belief, the three men survived the mission. Alexei Anonenko continued working in the nuclear industry and retired years later, although the effects of the radiation left him with health issues. Valery Bespalov also survived and returned to his professional life facing the consequences of radiation with the same bravery he showed at Chernobyl. Boris Baranov also initially survived but passed away in 2005, many years after the mission, due to natural causes not directly related to radiation. In 1987, a year after the catastrophe, the three men were awarded the Order of the Red Banner by the Soviet government, 
one of the highest distinctions given for acts of bravery and heroism in extreme situations. This recognition was a testament to their sacrifice, as their mission prevented an even greater catastrophe. The heroes of Chernobyl did not wear capes or fly through the sky, but their heroic actions deserve to be remembered forever. Alexei Anonenko, Valery Bespalov, and Boris Baranov faced the impossible, knowing that the price was their lives, to save millions of others. It is in their sacrifices, recognized with the Order of the Red Banner, that the true meaning of heroism lies. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more histories.